Alright guys, welcome back to Guilty Gaming and Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Welcome back. When we last left off, we had done the first leg of our journey through Act 2. We've moved our camp up north to uh, this new place. We fought our way through all this. But we have at least two more armies to fight. This one being level seven, which I don't know what we're going to do about that one. To try and build up our army or something. I think we're going to focus more on our on foot stuff for a little bit here. Trying to join our two armies together still too. We got some shield bearers here. We still can't recruit any more people because it hasn't, hasn't been enough time. But we are now earning, um, we got our morale back up to 10 after having a devastating minus 10 at one point. And we are now earning 330 a day finance points. So we'll just keep working through that. But for now, we're gonna work on these guys. I think we're gonna go to the Nameless Ruins first and then check out the Reliable Redoubt, which is to go help the Hell Knights. We'll save Chili Creek for last and whatever else we're going to find as we work our way up towards Heaven's Edge. Lost Chapel, Vescavores, Dresden. The actual Dresden itself is going to be a whole thing, too, so. Also, I don't know where this goes. I think we'll head for the Nameless Ruins first. How are you guys doing tonight? You having a good Saturday? The weekend, after all. We need to rest before we go in here. People are starting to get fatigued. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, fairly safe. Probably should have rested at our camp when we had the chance. I was unfortunate to have met you. We both know what it's like to be beautiful and desired in our own mil milieu. Before, my beauty meant something, but now, now I seek only power. Alright. Rest took nine hours. We can go ahead and join these armies together. Like that, maybe? Level four. Alright. And then. Attack. Still can't recruit yet. What happens when we head into this yellow area? I find out sooner rather than later because. I don't think we're fighting that level 7 army. This level 3 army might be a little tough. Let's see. Alright, so they've got three groups of Birmaraks, which have a little bit of DR. And pretty damaging flaming longsword. And they've got two groups of just regular cultists. I think our target has to be the Birmaraks first. Attack. 
Something like this. Oh, these are our new shieldy guys. These guys are defensive, right? They got a little bit of DR, they got high AC. Get in here. Hopefully take some hits. Get my better guys. I think I should get there. Oh. Ooh, they have a little bit of a line attack. That's interesting. Attack formation for three by three. Mm, we'll save for later. Nice. Wait, there's still a chance to heal. Done and done. Army's doing well. Got back all of our losses. Looking good. After the battle, one of the soldiers noticed a half-faced inscription on a nearby stone. What remained of the engraved engraving led the crusaders to a secluded cave where they found a stash of miscellaneous relics and some that some selflessly devoted clerics had managed to rescue from fallen dresden. They also discovered flasks of sanctified oil and boxes of reagents for rituals and sacred masses. It would appear the brave priests hid their sacred artifacts in one final attempt to save them from the demonic threat. Material and energy points. So this remaining army looks kind of scary. As much as I want the reward from it, I do not believe we should be taking that on. Perhaps we can come back here at a later date. I'm not really sure. Hmm. Is that what? It's got... 500 skeletons, 120 skeletal archers, and 40 of whatever those other kind of skeletons are. Hey, Ethos. That army was still there after you took Dresden. Yeah, I, I think this is like a come back to it later, don't throw your army against this to die kind of situations. You know? Like, I just feel like we wouldn't have much of a chance against it. I mean, I could be wrong. But, dang. So I'm going to turn the army around. We're marching north. We have no more armies of the enemy that we know of. I guess we start marching into the yellow zone. I see anything odd in my inventory. I did have a severed head in my inventory at the beginning of the act. That was fun. Just randomly. Um, 
since then, I don't think we've had anything new, but that was a thing. I just randomly had a severed head. My character didn't know how it got there either. A little disconcerting. All right. Let's head into the Nameless Ruins. Oh, it's just to bring Ninio. Hmm. I guess I should bring Ninio. Um. That means time went by, so yeah, our army can move again. Let's see what's up here. We've gone into the yellow area. Found Leper's Smile. Interesting. Um, okay, well, I guess that's not for the army to deal with. We're exploring with our army. Okay. Gotta level Ninio up. Is that what you were talking about, Ethos? The severed head, or is there... I mean, I guess you don't have to tell me. It could be a spoiler. Is possible. Um, we're just going to keep going wizard. It's it's. There are some other things we can go into, prestige wise, like lore master. Need skill focus and some meta magic, and we get into that. Lore master wouldn't be horrible. Dragon disciple. I don't think Ninja is the type. Winter Witch, you gotta be a um, witch, basically. Um, like switching into another class as a wizard is usually a bad idea because you mess up your spells. Unless you're planning on going for like Arcane Trickster or something like that, it's some kind of like melee. But there's a lot of like um, already split up classes that are actually designed for that. All right, so. Uh, Ninio, Ninio, Ninio. Third level spells. We have haste, greater magic weapon. Uh, it's hard to go wrong with fireball, I think. I'll get someone with a good fireball. Play two spells? Okay. Um. Get a magic weapon and haste already. Grab slow, maybe. The problem with things like fireball is that there's so much fire resistance. A monster could be a D3 wolf. We don't have summoning feats on the video. We're gonna have better people for summoning. Displacement, the round per level. The invisibility, communal. Could come up. We have slow. Hey, Gold Dragon! How's it going, Golden Dragon? Welcome back to the stream. Settle in, we're gonna have some fun tonight. I think abundant casting just seems too good not to take with Ninio. Not waste too much time on that. Alright, so we gotta come in here with Ninio for the visit the Namus Ruins thing. Get a save. And then let's head on in. So I've killed all the demon armies I know about that aren't level seven. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm only level six, and I'm already getting to the point where, like, I start out a new zone by going, let's get all our buffs on. Feels good. 
It's gonna be even more like that in my wizard playthrough, probably. Doing the Siege of Dresden, nice. I love how long this game's gonna be. Not a short game. What do we have here some cool stalkers, cool creepers. I'm interested in getting good enough at this game that I could actually play it not in tactical mode, but I don't know, like I always want it in tactical mode. Probably like if I wanted to play in tactical mode, I'd like turn it down to like normal difficulty or something. He's close enough. Uh, Find out. He is. Nice. Spell book. Yeah, look at all these missing spells. Oh my god, especially with abundant casting. Oh, oh that hurts. You have abundant casting, you didn't fill the slots. Oh, what's your favorite school? Is it Illusion? It might be Illusion. Maybe you have an Illusion spell. That last hour per level. Oh, man, that's all. Yeah, Legion's the favorite one. Level. We're not gonna need haste for this fight. Give a pit. Yes. 
Let's see, hopefully it makes five minute duration spells turn to 24 hour duration. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. You know what I mean? Buff, 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 buff. Limitless rage. That charge. Cover me, all right. Oh no. They'll beg me to stop. Leaving shot, leaving shot. Please. You know what's really nasty? I learned last night is that um spells like it doesn't entirely make sense. But um, spells like the Pit and Grease, you can put Selective Spell on them and it works. Normally, Selective Spell should only work on like instant spells, like a Fireball or something. But in this game, apparently Selective Spell Grease works, so the Grease would only affect the enemies. <laughs> Which is like... Broken! Oh, you saw the Discord, nice. Um kind of want to try that out. <laughs> uh, work on that later. Oh, glove like ghoul fever. He's, this is um I can put it on the secondary primary, that's cool. I was like, what, what is the two options on that one? Come on. Uh, I think he doesn't have any spells set up really. Nice try. Didn't work though. What? Uh, two, three, four. Okay, three. I was like, I'm gonna get to four already. I wish I had cleave right now. Stab you or zap you. I wish it was easier to tell where the edges of like a ground effect were, you know, so you could avoid stepping in it if you wanted to. I've fallen in my own grease quite a few times. Annoying. Surrender or else. I will see to your demise. You know, I should have had her. Oh, this is is this N Ninio's trap? It is, right? Arcane Bond. Where's Dismiss Spell? You can dismiss your spells in this version. So. Dismiss. Do I click? Where do I, what do I do? Hey, how does this work? It says after battle. You can't do it within battle? Can I just. Good. That's handy.
And nothing. What hurt him? Did he just get hurt there? I just got attacked right before it, okay. He took a lot of damage that turn. Distract them for me. Can't you just die already? Cave here. Precision and grace. Company. You're a good person. I like you. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Move out. Ah, uh, ghoul fever on Darren. You found the Lich Mythic Path? Awesome. I can't wait. Oh God, I'm on well, you've already got ghoul fever. D3 con, D3 dexterity per day, huh? We'll get rid of it. Um... My barbarian. Oh, he's right there. He's like right on top of Wendy.
Really wish I had like some great food right now. Up on low gear. Um, yes. 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 Religion to do this? Yeah. Our best religion is still going to be my guy, so that's 11. Yeah. Alright, hold. No one stands in my I'm working on this ghoul fever issue. This chat person right now. Gotta be you, right? I will just. I will fight. Shit. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. It's on this trap. Pretty good, aren't I? Yeah, mirror image. Oh shit, I didn't do that. I actually turned off drum bass mode. I'm trying just to get this on. Um, 14. Oh my. All right, um. Blinding Ray. Master, maybe? That's not enough range. It's too haste. Guys just disappeared. Like one of them ran up there and just ceased to exist. Interesting. They'll beg me to stop.
Damn, I rolled a one. Oh well. Soldier could use a flanking buddy. Cover me, all right. Stab you or zap you? Why not both? How is it this turn again already? Alright. And it's this thing's turn again already. A tactical retreat. No, it's My god, he gets so many attacks. Hold just down. This thing is so high level. Um... Yeah, I have a fireball. Oh, I could have my fireball. I don't really have a good place to throw it anymore, actually. Earlier it would have been good. Um... Up, but any more, we need more bodies. Get all the skeletons. Welcome back, Ethos. Oh, okay. My my summons can set off the trap. Really? Shit. That sucks, you have no control over them. And none of the enemies ever set off the dang trap. Oh my god, what does this do to me? 4th save failed. Stinking cloud. Shit. But I was worried it was gonna be. I'm gonna get out of this thing. Thankfully we have haste, so we can just book it. Of it, I think. Killed her saving throw, so now she's nauseated. Or she should be. It shows her as nauseated. Doesn't it? Yeah. 30 seconds. Oh my god. That's brutal. A lot of her stuff doesn't work on these guys. She shouldn't be able to do this because she already moved, but... I don't know if haste factors into that. Yeah, okay. Hold just still down. We need to heal Hulk or he's gonna go down. Ninio. We can plow. What you can do. Thankfully, all these skeletons aren't affected by it. They're in stinking cloud. Okay. 
Goblet that summons the Zada creatures is the worst. They will launch a lightning bolt at the enemy with no care where you're standing. <laughs> they more damage to you than the demons. Oh my god, I'm so close to dead. No match for me. I think we're there too. Just kills. Run them through. This is not yeah, of course he shot Hulk. I mean, you know, it's not gonna matter if the skeletons will take him out. Thank God for skeletons. Everybody else is freaking nauseated. How long is it gonna be there? I can't dispel their stuff. Battles await. Actually use charisma. We don't actually. You know what? I guess actually you are the one person who's gonna end up using it. Thank you, bud. <laughs> um, plus two save now against compulsion and disease effects. Sounds like good smoke strong. This is my kind of work. Body parts all over the place. Alright, permits of the ghoul's feast. See? I'm indispensable. Bring your protection plus two. Scattered remains are sickening to look upon. The ghouls clearly ate their fill. Fortunately, they were not interested in the jewelry left on the bodies. More AC. No. The bracers of armor. That's an armor bonus. Why would that not stack with the ring of protection? And mage armor. The ring of protection is a deflection bonus. It's not an armor bonus. Why would that not stack with it? Okay, it won't stack with shield of faith. That makes sense. So it's actually saying that bracers of armor and mage armor don't stack and ring of protection and shield of faith don't stack. And those make sense. But he's not always going to have Shield of Faith. Yeah, these don't stack with Mage Armor, this doesn't stack with Shield of Faith. That, that's fine. I'm not always going to have Shield of Faith. He is always going to have Mage Armor though, so these are kind of useless now. But, you know, whatever. I guess I could actually just take him off, honestly. He's, he's always going to have Mage Armor on. Or something, something very wrong. That, that's it, I guess. We didn't really get any story here, just a bunch of ghouls to kill. We, we had to bring Ninio here for something. The Nameless Ruins, the name itself is nothing, is, there's, hence there's nothing of interest in this place, but not for Ninio, who claims that her nose for mystery, intriguing mysteries never failed her. I mean, it's gotta be this, right? Uh, nothing. All we found were a bunch of ghouls. Hmm. 
I don't see all. anything. There's more to the zone. Alright. That's not what we're here for. Let's heal. <laughs> Smile. The world's not ending just yet. This war must end. Yes. 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 Oh God, our ghoul's on foot now. The R10, oh, slash magic, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. Oh, they passed their saves, really. Rolled an 18. And rolled a 16. Damn. They had to roll at least a 14 to pass. I was hoping they would at least get one or two of them. These guys aren't going to sleep. Take a nap. Distract them for me. How was I buying them for? Find it for one round. Eh. Fair enough. Turn the rage is on. Out of my way. Another one. They got low will saves. There you know. Take a nap. Or not. It won't let me slumber him. What the hell? Good luck, Golden Dragon. Oh my god, why would you do that? Oh, 
Okay, yeah, screw it. It's just in your turn. And another one appears beside her. What the hell? Another one. Okay. Time to share your treasures. Oh, we leveled up. Oh, shit. Hey, hundreds of attacks. Here we come. Oh, God, did I get... Oh, no, no, it's just... It's just, um... Fatigue problem. Alright, so we're gonna get a new rage power, damage reduction, and extreme endurance. Feet. I gotta think about this one. Um, we what do we need to get for him? Hey everybody, it's... Um... Are you just power attack? Can you get towards Cleave? We got power attack, haven't we? Yeah. Did we get Cleave? Can we get beast, beast Totem this turn? Probably. Maybe I want to get clean? Double Slice. We get our Strength Bonus on our Shield attacks. Hmm. Option. Improve critical till things that happen is eight. Let's wait till like level nine for that. Weapon focus. 
one of the lock in the scimitars I can get. When do you, can you get improved weapon fighting? I think we're just a little too early for someone to beat some more later. Dex 17. That's interesting. Now let's back out. We could theoretically get improved weapon fighting if we had Dex 17, which I think the game will let you say you have with just an item. Right now we're enlarged and fatigued, which that's fine. Would having a plus two item on me boost it enough that it'll let me do that? Like if I got, do we have a dex belt somewhere? If I put this dex belt on him, what would that be? I am curious. Yes, it will. Oh my god. Hell yeah. That's another attack. So we're getting two more attacks this turn. We're getting an iterative attack for both hands. And then Beast Totem for the natural armor bonus. I think. Greater Beast Totem will give us pounce once we get to... We have to get to level 10 for that. So we can't take Greater Beast Totem at, at level 9. We have to wait until... Um... I mean, okay, it's level 6 technically, right? So we have to wait until the next power, like level 11, we can get Greater Beast Totem. But we could get Beast Totem now. And then after that, get like, um... Is it the one that gives you more DR? What's that called? Increased damage reduction. Barbell Blade. Okay, so we'll do that next time. Okay, so I think we'll do Beast Totem. We get our natural armor. Next time we'll get the increased DR, and then the time after that we'll get greater Beast Totem. But man, he just went up. He's up to like five attacks around now. All right, Windowog. Um. Inquisitor. And then we get a feet. Snapshot lets us threaten. The range weapon in our melee reach and the attack is opportunity. Hmm. Mini shot would give us double arrows in the first shot. Deadly aim is like ranged power attack. Cluster shot lets us double up on the DR. What does improved snapshot does? Let's just threaten even farther out. We could threaten like we had a reach weapon. Hmm. We need for point blank master. It's a higher level feat. We're not getting it now, but I'm just curious what you need for it.
Mm, fighter level four. Hmm. I think we can get it with a bonus feat, though. I think we'll be able to get it with, a, with like a. We get like a combat trick or something. We can grab it that way. This is not provoke. Snapshot. Um, this is a Inquisitor spell. First level spell. We've got Cure Light and Remove Fear. Um, Maybe just grab her a line weapon so she can do that herself. For divine favor? That's only a minute. He can't get a line weapon. Is he a line weapon? Alright. Um, it's a second level spell, that's what it is, isn't it? Um, that's for light. Does magic weapons stack with your enhancement list? I don't think it does, right? Hey, Claire. The divine favor doesn't say what it does here. I know what it does, but it doesn't tell you. The description's missing. I don't think magic weapon works, but I'm gonna grab it anyways. It does. I don't really have a spell I need from her. Alright, Wolgif. Wolgif Scoundrel. Get some more sneak attack. Super stealthy. Um, we could get a Compish Sneak Attacker here. Might not be bad. Um... Hmm. I remember, we're building towards Duelist. I should check what we need for Duelist. Let's go in here. We need to get combat mobility. That's right. I grab dodge and weapon finesse. Combat mobility will give him more uh, attacks too. He doesn't have a base attack kit, anyways. Uh, so maybe we should grab him combat mobility. Um, I don't think combat reflexes is the, is the attacks. Combat mobility just lets you move around easier. That sucks, but it's going to be a prereq. Hmm. What have we gotten him so far? We got him... Dodge. Double slice. We could get him... We could work on Crane style. He's gonna get a feat. We could get a feat from Rogue Talents too. We get combat. Mobility here.
Um. It might be good to get him so he can fight defensively and up his AC even more. Because we're trying to make him super hard to hit. So with that in mind, yeah. Improved an arm strike, which is like super useless for him, but it lets him get into crane style, which I want him to have. Um, so third level spells for Wolgif. Haste is nice. Heroism is nice. Um, what's third level spells? Ooh, displacement. Even better than blur. Only around per level, but 50% miss chance. And haste. Yeah. Let's just get the, 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 the always good spells out of the way. We'll make things right. Okay. Um Ember. Uh oh. Rules are made to be broken. Ember, Ember, Witch. Level 7 means 4th level spells, right? Or no, maybe not. I'm not sure. Last time we got her spell pin. I'll just get her greater spell pin. Precise shot. Why? Tackle. We could get her selected spell. But when she starts getting nastier AoE spells. Is it one level for selected spell? Plus one level. Might not be a bad idea. Eventually witches get really good summons, so it might be good to get like spell focus conjuration too. And we're gonna need greater spell pin eventually. Let's see selective spell, I wanna try it out. Alright, so first level spells. So she has a little circle me. Um but that means you can make it selective or something? Let's get her unbreakable heart. It's a second level spell. Um, if we have selective, we could do web. The only thing keeping me away from it was the fact that it's so annoying on my own guys. Let's grab web. And third level spells. So we have ray of exhaustion. Can we do a selective stinking cloud? The only problem with stinking cloud is that so many demons are immune to poison. Heroism could be really good. Morale bonus attack saves and skill checks. It's only for one person. We get a morale bonus from our archery thing that we got on Windog. Melia can already do remove curse. Although if I grab it here, I wouldn't have to ever memorize it on. Uh, it's well, easy out. I memorize spells. Um, 
Star Monster 3, if we go down the summon route, but we're not yet. Play Poison Communal. Could be good. Melia once again has it. Some, like, remove Curse or Delay Poison, maybe. We can remove Curse and start memorizing Delay Poison, I think. Okay. Aaron. We're full. We'll get another revelation. Good stuff. Spell pen. Get one person to have greater spell pen, especially with like his auras and stuff. Greater spell pen. Right here. Armor of bones. You are five bludgeoning plus four armor bonus. And it's seventh in every four levels thereafter, it increases by two. You can use this shield for an hour, number of times per day, equal to Oracle level. So basically all the time. They wouldn't have to have armor. What the fuck is in the back? Um, combat healer. Whenever you cast a cure spell, you can cast it as a swift action. By expending two spell slots. This does not increase the level of the spell. Once per day at 7th, additional time per day every 4 level. Mm. Enhanced Cures. Whenever you cast a Cure spell, the maximum number of hit points is healed is based on your Oracle level, not the limit of the spell, so that unlimits the spells. That sounds really good. Life Link. Near Death. Um. Excess healing becomes 10 hit points is not bad. I think enhanced cures probably. Alright. So, first level spell. What's left? Remove fear, I guess. Unbreakable heart. Almost everybody has this at this point. See. Oh, oh, people in the party. Windwag, Ember, and Camellia can all cast Unbreakable Heart. Um. Still really good. Second level spell. Um, we have air of log that align weapon. Air mod. This restoration. We have false life. Numeru paralysis. Come up. Effortless armor is personal. He can still use it though. He's super weighed down by his armor right now. Um, blessing of courage and life. Um, that spells are good. Full strain. Bone shaker. Give him some damage at the second level. He has arrow of law against most demons. Let's give him remove paralysis. No one has that, I don't think. Camellia can, but third level. The Archon's Aura animate dead. 
Less about. <laughs> um, yeah. Go with spell pen. Or not. Do you already have greater spell pen? Oh, she does. Greater select this Um, ooh, fourth level spells. Greater invisibility. Phantasmal killer. Rainbow pa oh yeah, she's illusion. Shadow conjuration, these are great. And we start getting to fourth level and up, the spells start getting better and better. Um, Phantasmal Killers sound pretty good. Ooh, Controlled Fireball. Minimum damage to your allies. It's like the spell too, but no. um, she gets she gets select a spell a regular fireball. She doesn't need control fireball. Um, Phantasmal killer. Yes. stuff. Save, so I have to do all that again. Keep moving to these ruins. Almost all these plague animals. Stab you or zap you? Why not both? Damn, good. What do you name is all took, huh? AC up to Recipe we found too, right? Might be trap, might be treasure. Pretty good, aren't I? That is what we came for. Keep looking. But more of these guys. 
The absence of an answer is an answer too. I am the answer, but what is the question? An elf woman in a frayed robe turns her head to you and stares at you through the slits of her simple white mask, and she holds out her hand and touches the ancient statue. The absence of an answer is an answer too. Hey, hey, wait, where are you going? Spontaneous dematerialization is unscientific. Ninio touches the statue and suddenly freezes. Following her example, you put your hand on the statue and the world around you ceases to exist. You are a lone grain of sand, floating in the emptiness of the unknown. Your path has no beginning and no end. You are tiny and insignificant in comparison with the cosmos that surround you. But then something changes. The emptiness takes notice of you. It stares at you, measures and assesses you. Then a question comes. As simple and as deep as the emptiness itself, who are you? I have hope. The name you uttered that seems so powerful and proud rings to the emptiness and silence comes bleak and oppressive. The emptiness still awaits your answer. I am... Do you want to say your name? But what is it? Just a set of sounds that you used to associate yourself. Are you Hulk? Who decided this? This is who you are. Your parents? Yourself? Someone else? The name is just a label you take voluntarily. What happens when you tear the label off? What hides behind the name Hulk? Behold the truth. Open yourself to knowledge. Reveal yourself. You hear me? You voice oh. from nowhere or whatever you are? Ninio is old. I didn't realize. Her race. <laughs> you could sooner. Well, I'll be a fox. Who are you? Who are you? Speak up or I'll gut you on the spot. You're a kitsune. It appears your observation is correct. I am a kitsune. If my hypothesis is correct, and the probability of that is close to 100%, I have always been a kitsune, but at some point I decided to forget that piece of knowledge. Following this line of reasoning, it would seem the fact of my membership of a certain race just doesn't seem relevant to me. She forgot she was a kitsune. Also, there is a more important question. Why did my true identity reveal itself in this precise moment? How could you forget you were a Kitsune? This question is irrelevant in the current situation. If you wish, you can ask me about it later. If you believe that I've been keeping my true identity a secret on purpose, you are mistaken. I have no interest in your causes, your battles, or your secrets, if you have any. All I need from you is your assistance with my experiments. And with this. What was that? I found myself in emptiness and a voice asked me questions. I suppose it was a trap that yanked our minds out of our plane and temporarily transferred us to another one. I wish I knew which plane. By the way, did you know that the most efficient way to disarm a corridor's worth of magical traps is with the help of a scientist who has been told that the formula for an elixir of the ancient races lies hidden at the end of said booby-trapped corridor? <sighs> and my last doubt is dispelled. It truly is her. Whose voice do you think it was? I haven't the slightest idea, but it is most definitely an extremely wise entity. Besides, the entity displayed no aggressive tendencies, which gives us hope that it can be reasoned with. What do you think about it? The voice in the emptiness asked me, and judging by your reaction, you too, who I am. And merely stating my name failed to satisfy it. The trap then forced me to assume my true form, which I had completely forgotten about. Hmm, I suppose... I suppose this trap wasn't a trap, per se. It rather was a closed portal leading to some hidden place that can easily unveil secrets and reveal the truth. The one who spoke to us seemed to solve me like a riddle, in an instant, just by looking at me. I... I would like to meet this entity. Can you imagine which secrets it can unravel? I want to speak to it, and you, my follower, must help me. But how can you get there? If there is a door, there must be a way to open it. If there's a lock, there must be a key to it. Hmm. There is an inscription here, right on the statue. It'd be cool if, if you played a Kitsune, if you could have two portraits. Like a Kitsune portrait and a human portrait, because you can switch forms, right? 
I am the void and the emptiness. I am the starting point. I am infinite. Tear my mask off and let it fall at my feet. <clears throat> I don't understand this at all. How thrilling! Sound like a riddle. It does. It really does. I love riddles and puzzles. How do we solve it? Each of them is inscribed with a riddle, and each demands that something be placed at its feet. I guess we need some items that represent the answers to these riddles. But don't ask me where we should look for them. Maybe we should ask one of these geysers. I don't think they can help us. Looks like all they can do is mumble their mantra about questions and answers. Why are you so sure the unknown entity behind the mysterious portal would even want to talk to us? I'm not sure at all. But we must try. We simply must. Getting there and talking with this entity will be the greatest of my experiments. No exaggeration. Well, there's not more than you hear now. <sighs> with deepest regret, I have to admit that you are right. It's highly unlikely that we'll be able to solve this riddle right here and now. We'll have to temporarily withdraw so we can return when we're armed and ready. Right, so we need to get four items. Sand looks utterly unremarkable apart from its inexplicable presence here among the ruins and the And the answer is the question. Absence of a question answer. answer. Absence of an answer is an answer too. Or... We've been seeing these guys since the beginning of the game. We got the cameras going here. No. Thank you. Absence of an answer is an answer to. I am the unknown. I scare cowards, but reveal my secrets to the brave. Tear my mask off and let it fall at my feet. I am the impetuous to act. I am reason for torture and cause for insomnia. Move out. I am the void and the emptiness. I am the starting point. I am infinite. I am the end of the road, I am superiority, I am loneliness. I don't know what kind of items you have to get for that. I also have this. do with that either, but it looks like it's kind of been this up. I guess we're done here for now. Doubtful, doubtful the answers to these rules can be found anywhere near the nameless. That's on hold. We gotta go to Heaven's Edge for this one. We did find some more Elven script. We can talk to the storage order again. It must belong to Jorindolo. Can we go down there next, I think? Part of Mystery is pretty far away. And... The fishing village on the bank of the Sound River. I think that's... Uh, is it chilly or whatever? Let's get out of here. Long way to go to level eight. Yeah, so we're plus eight, plus three, plus nine, plus four, and a gore attack now. So we have five attacks, that's great.
We still have a marker here, but I mean, this is kind of like an ongoing quest to solve the things. We have the Leper's Smile. We could check out before we go and do this revival readout, maybe. I don't know that there's any reason to go on foot to this place where the demon battle is. Probably just leave that alone. I think we'll do Leper's Smile, Revival Readout, Moondance Metal, Chili, Chili Creek Last. Random person on the road. A random fight. A random something. 